All right, this is YBR with some more BMG Drive. Today we're going to look at a map that was in a video, but it was not the focus of the video. So I had it in the video, and I drove on it, but we were looking at the car that was driving on it. Now we're going to look at the map itself. So we're going to use a stock vehicle because that is the most logical, so you can understand kind of like how the map reacts to, like how it kind of performance you need for it and how fast things are and such. And a stock vehicle does that well because everybody knows how one of those performs. So this is dirt track, or dirt jam. It's a motocross style racing track type of thing. So it's not like a lot of the other off-road map type things where it's really difficult or difficult at all really to get from any one part to the other. It's all easy to get from one part to the other. The hard part is doing it fast and smoothly without screwing up. And for me, that's more enjoyable than a map where it's like a really difficult dirt hill climb thing. Where it's like you gotta go into low gear and try to just angle things the right way. And, you know, I prefer something like this where it's just drive fast and see how fast you can go and, you know, something like that. So I'm just kind of leisurely driving it right now, not caring too much. This is version, uh, I think it's the f current version, which is 1.3. I mean, it's 1.3, and I think that's the current version, I should say. But we're just going to do a whole lap of the track just once, and then we'll do some other things about it. But just get you an, give you an idea of how long it is. It's not really long, and it's pretty good at length. Like, I wouldn't say it's short. I'd say it's probably just about a medium-length track. It's not long. It's not short. It's just medium. Whoa! Hello! We flipped over. Took that turn a bit too tight. Whoopsies. See, I'm not trying to break no records here or nothing. I'm just driving leisurely through this thing. And that's kind of why I like racetrack, dirt racetracks more than like dirt hill climbs. So I think there's like four major turns left. And this is one of them. So there's one. Might be more than that actually. But we'll see. There's another major major turn coming up. I can stop bouncing everywhere. Two. Three. So I was a little bit off. There's one more turn that I, I didn't account for. So there's actually five more. And here's the biggest jump of the whole map right here. So this should be interesting. I'll probably flip over and die. But oh well. Yep. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I didn't flip over. That's good. And that's uh, about a lap of the place in a vehicle that shouldn't have much problem doing it. So. It's no problem to do it in a off-road truck. What about doing it in a supercar that was never made to even drive on dirt in the first place, really? Well, let's find out. This one you're going to have to be careful, though. We're going to do it in reverse so you kind of get a different look at the map because it does drive different in reverse than forward like all racetracks do. But we're going to have to go kind of slow on the jumps, otherwise we'll just break everything. So no problem so far. Using a race car on a dirt dirt track can be done. My main fear is I'm gonna get too much air and break it. That is the proper way to do that turn. Whoa. That thing moves with the wind or something. I didn't notice that. Look at it go. Look at it go! That's the weird looking it. Just caught my eye. It looks funky. It's waving at me. I think a couple of pieces of grass do that. I just don't, don't know why that one in particular just got my attention. See, for here though, the goal is to finish a lap without having to reset the vehicle. Because if we reset the vehicle, that means we screwed up and broke it. I just accidentally cut a corner. Oops. 
don't think it benefits me at all that I did that, but I did cut it. See, this is where you gotta be careful. Right there, I was scared. That was a bit of air right there. Because this car is pretty fragile. Like, if you get too far in the air, you're gonna bust it. I mean, it's not like it was made for durability exactly. It was made to go fast, which means you gotta use lightweight parts. In your life, at least. Whoa! No, 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 no. Still good to go. Need a little more speed. I need to use a manual transmission here. This is getting ridiculous. Stupid automatic doesn't know what to do. See? Manual transmission is so much easier. You can even churn easier because you could just put down the exact amount of power you want easier and stuff. So used the manual transmission a long time ago. Almost done. Go way too fast. Oh no. Oh no. It's dead. I mean, if we weren't flying through that last jump because I was so excited we were almost finished, we could have made it. But I'm like, oh my god, there's the finish. And then next thing you know, we're flying through the air and I'm dead. So basically, though, I, I can assume because except for me being an idiot. There was no reason this car couldn't do it, so you could probably do this track with any vehicle in the game. Even like any mod vehicles that are really bad, you could probably use those too. And by really bad, I just mean like they're fragile or slow or something. I don't mean like poorly made or anything. I mean like realistic, yeah, they should be fragile. So, let's go ahead and do a couple of things. One of the things I want to do is just do the, that big jump a couple of times because it's, it's fun to show off jumps. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. Car still works. Uh, but aside from the actual course, you can like drive around in the stuff just to have some more bumps to fly around on and stuff, so we could do that, I guess. Let's see if I can find the ding truck. There it is. I'm having some eye problems right now. Can't see things right. Ugh. It's annoying. Anyways, we could just, you know, drive off the course and you, know, you got, like, all these bumps and things to bu drive off of and bounce off of and stuff. And it's good just to, you know, test the vehicle suspension out. Driving like this. You just go like that. And you got some good air. Test the suspension strengths. Whoa! What was that? I said a sand pit. That is just like a sand pit right there. Look at that. Look at that. The truck just sinks. It's crazy. It doesn't even look like it has wheels. I didn't even know that. There's sand pits. Well then. I guess the only option here is to use a vehicle that's made for sand pits. Well, maybe not made, but can do sand pits. How about that? Ah, oh. sand pit, please. Can't you ain't got nothing on a monster truck? Yeah, those are deep though. Look how deep they are. Like those are pretty beefy tires. The sand pits absorb most of them. Actually, that's crazy. So, like, you see how big the tires are, and you reset it. Look at that. That front tire is barely there. It's less than half. Look at that right there. Oh, oh, whoops, too fast. Look at the, look how much of the car disappears into the sand. That's crazy. Okay, right, so let's go ahead and get out of the sand pit instead of playing around in it now. 
Because it caused a bit of a lag, throwing up so much dirt everywhere. And the only reason I used this is because I knew I'd be able to get out of there. It's so unstable for like trying to do anything. Like it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna roll over. It's exactly what I was gonna say. Thank you, truck, for proving my points. So we'll go back to our normal old truck. And this time it'll be a normal D series once again. I'm thinking actually I should do an H series, but too late now. So outside of the map, more there's a bunch of hills and stuff you could also drive around on. Like I said, just a bunch of road or dirt things you can kind of just drive around on as well, like as well as the road if you wanted to. If you really wanted to, this is actually kind of nice. You could just do things like, oh no! Oh, I was going to hit that as a jump. I didn't see the tree bringers there. Oh well. I was going to say, you could probably do things like this, where you fly into an area like this and really fly. But then I didn't. So that's unfortunate. You see, there are buildings and stuff around, but there's nothing really like worth like looking at much. Just They're there just for the environment. Got some uh, uh, like water containers over there. And if you want to be technical, those are probably non-floating roof. I'm thinking non-floating roof. Maybe I don't know. Let me find out. Whoop! Bang! Yep, non-floating roof. So there's a fixed roof. It's to hold liquids and crap. Alright, so that's the map though. And now I can use this map in videos without feeling bad. Because now I can be like, see, I did the video for this map right here. You see, nah, 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 nah. So, until next time, this is my YBR. I'll see ya.